for two hits. I got a crit there too, it's so upsetting. I want to win because I got that crit too. Oh. Come on. Nah, it's over. We're alive? That's so unfortunate. I got the crit and I got some good hits and we still couldn't win. I think what I'm gonna do here is not fight this boss. I think I'm gonna do another circle. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Do another circle. Get some money back, get some levels, and then come back to that boss. That That's the way we can do that. Oh, it doesn't show me the stars, only from Rose Hill? That's stupid. Alright, what do we want to do now? Circle of Indulgence, Circle of... I think Caprice is available, and it's also Cradle of Corruption. Right? Oh, it's not showing me the stars now, the difficulty level. That's weird. Conquest doesn't have the upper one for some reason. Neither does Caprice, so it's either Fortitude or Indulgence, or Cradle of Corruption, but I kind of want to save this for later. I'm going to save this one for, like, last. Oh, oh, last of the ones we got. So it's either Fortitude or Indulgence. I'm kind of tempted to do Indulgence, I think. Let's go check that one out. Make some progress on this circle. Before we end stream. Also, I think I need my bank now. Okay, my current funds aren't that low. I thought they were worse. Give me like a thousand. You can buy bad medicine. That's good to know. I'm not gonna buy some now, but it's good to know you can buy bad medicine. Let's see if we can at least get through indulgence, maybe even the dungeon too. Because if we have a couple of bosses like that aren't defeated, that's fine too. We can always like bounce between the circles, which might be a good way to do it because again, some might be too strong for us. Like, I mean, I can probably beat the Ifrian Eagle. I probably could, but I just, like, I'd rather just, like, build up my money again and try again instead of just trying again right now. But I probably can beat him. Like, definitely. Here we are. The upper echelon of the Circle of Indulgence. The Unspeakable One should be here somewhere. Unspeakable One? Oh... You mean that monster duck for set free? Yes. Apparently it said something about becoming king and made its way here. But wherever it is, it's not here now. <gasps> or could it be on top of this cake, perhaps? That cave looks like it might lead up there. <laughs> this place gets even more delicious with every echelon I go to. Hello. But yeah, I could probably beat the Ifrean Eagle, but I'd rather just like do another circle. At least explore an area, get some level ups, maybe even like luckily scout something if I decide to. Goodbye to you. So we can get our Headless Horseman higher levels, because the Headless Horseman actually did a good amount of damage, but he's just too low level to do anything for that boss. But if we can get him higher level, then that'd be kind of neat. What the heck? What is this? What is this thing? 
Oh, it's the, um, the mini metal thing from Dragon Quest Heroes 2. It's called a Greater Platypunk. It's a Platypunk family monster. This is the thing you exchange mini metals with in Heroes 2. Yeah, we're decimating these enemies. This circle might be easier than temper. Although we are getting 3600 experience. Again? Killing machine rank D. Gotta see if I can get a rank C or B mech, I think. Don't need to, but I should. That would probably be in my best interest. Because I want to keep using the mech family. Also, wait, can I allocate talent points? We have 18. The tidal wave finally, and then we'll maybe get you wisdom up instead. Because I wanna I think tidal wave is considered magic, I'm pretty sure. Excuse me, pardon me. I forgot to buy MP restoratives, dang it. I knew I was supposed to do something. Oh well. I'm gonna kill you. I'm so upset that I'm gonna kill these pastries. Bye. Unnecessary hatchet, man. He also went for the double, I respect it. Yo, hey, what's up, Flygon? Welcome to the stream. Um, Hellion's level 30. How the Hellion do so little damage and he's like level 30? That's insane. Isn't the Saber Cat like about the same level, right? Yeah, you're 32, a little higher level. Doctor's appointment, family lunch, binging overcooked with the fam. Nice. Where am I going now? I need to go up there. Oh my word, this place is making me hungry. Why did I choose to go to this place, like, at the very end of stream? Still got the dragon slime? The dragon slime is cooking. He's probably staying for the rest of the main story. He is too broken. His lightning storm is, like, unrivaled. I'm not gonna say the rest of the game, but rest of the main story, I'll be keeping the Dragon Slime. Plus, it helps to have a really high level monster, even if he is a rank B. But it'll balance out because we'll have like other rank C's and B's. We'll have more rank B's in the near future. I only have one right now, but I'll have more. He's very good and he's adorable. My little menace of destruction. I jump that, I'm gonna have to come all the way here again. I'm doing it. Sorrow, I pressed the B button. Stupid input lag. You know that getting your hair cut with clippers can actually cause pimples in the back of your head? <laughs> really? No, I did not know that. I did not know that. <laughs> but also, how would I? That's interesting, to say the least. Is that like... Oh, Chocolate Wisp. We've seen the Vanilla Wisp.
The only thing about the Dragon Slime is he's very reliant on MP. Without MP, he's worthless, but he's reliant on MP, but if he ever has MP, then he's broken as hell. Speaking of, get you out and put in the Headless Horseman. He could probably get some fights in. Also give you a break and put you in, and probably just you. Switch it up a bit. The face Invader is probably at the point where he can, like, hold his own. A lot of them, my monsters are. You're a rank C. Okay, I was gonna say if the face invader is a rank D, then we gotta get rid of him soon. But nah, he's a rank. He's a rank C. He's got at least a little bit more on him. Stop making me hungry, Circle of Indulgence. Did you ever go back to fight the Cyclops in the first area? No, but that was pondering. I was thinking about doing it. I feel like they're post-game, those big enemies, but I mean, I could try. I might go to the very first area and fight it. Or the um, Circle of Con Conquest had the Slumbering Lizard, but I mean, I could try one. I'm kind of curious if I'll be able to take it on. They might be post-game. But also, I have no way to know. Was that Tidal Wave? That was awesome as heck. That was really cool. Well, it's a shoe enemy. Of course it is. Hey, that's not the map button, Nova. That's the map button. Oh, Battenberg? Interesting. Okay. Just keep making me hungry. I'm literally about to faint by just staring at this place. Got these fancy chocolates from my grandmother. Christmas, so I'm tempted by this area. Yeah. It is very... Very, very... That, that is awesome. I love that. Kind of way is so cool. Um... Yeah, this place always makes me hungry. Uh, like, it, it looks gorgeous to look at, but it also makes me hungry. I really like the circles and echelons in this game. Like, I like the I like the environments. They're so fun, and the echelons have like enough differences. Like, I like it how the lower echelon had like simple sweets like donuts mostly and then it got like the middle one started to lean more towards like cake pots and pretzels and then this one's like more towards cake i like how like you like they they're, they're still the same like areas they look like the same areas because they're still the same areas they're just like different parts of them and they get like more in depth and more layers to them it's very cool No. I just want to see what's inside here. Ooh, we got an imp. I already have that chef enemy. Hey, can I pass? Alright, I can't pass. Fair enough. Could theoretically beat him rather early. Interesting. I'm sure there are ways to cheese him, but I don't really care about cheesing him. Honestly, I haven't even tried. I just haven't even thought about it. I've been busy with the game, like, playing the story and then getting monsters, so I haven't even thought about going back, but I will at some point. Probably in the post game. Maybe I'll go at the very, maybe I'll go when we're like at the end. Although we are getting close to the end of the main story, but maybe I'll, maybe I'll go after all the upper echelons. Oh my word, it's a fudge slime. I don't know if that's actually what they're going to call this thing, but it looks like fudge, like a hot fudge sundae. 
Okay, no, it's it's a slime made of caramel. <laughs> Cream caramel. Creme caramel. I like that. This is a Dragon Quest monster you do not see in the mainline games. It is probably strictly a monsters exclusive. There's a lot of skins, like reskins, that are only in the monsters games that I notice. Because they have a lot of slimes. I mean, they have like 500 monsters in the game, so they gotta have like a lot of a family and stuff. Makes me excited to play the other monsters games. I definitely gotta do that sometime next year. Honestly, I know Dragon Quest 4 is supposed to be the next one I do, but <laughs> Dragon Quest Monsters Joker might be. It's either gonna be 4 or the first Joker game. This game is so fun that I want to play the other Monsters games, like, insanely badly. I really want to do them. This game, like, elevated, like, it surpassed my expectations. Alright. Oh, more pretzels, huh? Yeah, there's no, uh, there's no, like, straight-up candy area in Dragon Quest, or in mainline Dragon Quest. No. Who do you think you are? Oh my word, this looks like- this looks like, um, this is like- this has like Hershey bars on the walls. I want a Hershey bar. But technically speaking, I like, uh, I would rather have a cookies and cream Hershey bar than like a milk chocolate Hershey's bar, personally. Oh, cream caramel slime was in Dragon Quest 8? Yeah, it still is very obscure though. If it is in one Dragon Quest game, it probably, like, yeah. No. <laughs> the beds. So roomy. Such a nice little home they got here. It's like Hansel and Gretel. No. We're all monsters I've seen. Ergo, I'm leaving you alone. Wafers. We got wafers here. And those are kind of like graham crackers. If they just aren't graham crackers, maybe they are. Can't forget about donuts. Leave me alone, flying saucers. There are two enemies I haven't found yet, and... I've only seen four types. Bum, 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 bum. Wafers are objectively better than graham crackers on their own, yeah. But have you considered that graham crackers make s'mores? <laughs> and I like s'mores more than I like wafers. Graham crackers are, on their own, good, but if you're having graham crackers, in my opinion, if I'm having graham crackers, I'm having s'mores. I am never gonna, like, choose to eat a graham cracker alone. Not to say, they're, they're still good on their own, but if I'm having graham crackers, I'm having s'mores. End of story. <laughs> What am I eating for dinner? I actually don't know. I have to figure something out. All I know is that I'm hungry. I want to at least get through this area. And maybe try the boss if we get to it. I'm here now? That's Flan right there. That's pretty cool. Oh, jump off. I have to press A to jump off. Oh, that's really fun! I was not expecting that. That's fun. I like that a lot. That is very fun. I wasn't expecting the flan to be like trampoline, but I'm so glad it is. Yeah, back to my earlier point of Dragon Quest Monsters Dark Prince having some fun little dungeons. Like, they don't straight up have puzzles, but they are very fun. 
Oh, you're new. I haven't seen you in this playthrough. I've seen you in Dragon Quest XI, but I haven't seen you in this game. Dead. Sucks to be you. These imps are going to town. Going to town on those macaroons. <laughs> this is so fun, I love this. Examine. Okay. I've never actually had Flom before. I know of Flom, but I've never actually had it. Oh, whoops. Oops. That was a mistake. It's fine. Try this. Back up here. I did see something... That's 3F. Maybe I do need to go this way. Yeah, because maybe now I can jump this and go up here. Yeah, Flan is a Mexican dessert, I'm pretty sure. My family's had it. I've never had it, personally. I just know of it because, like, I know of it. Slowly but surely, the Headless Horseman is catching up in levels. I'm also at 8,900 gold, which is, I almost said gold, as if I'm playing a Tales of game. No, okay. The saucer tried to insta kill me. The saucers, plural. All right, now we can focus on your destroyer thing. Get you close to Giga Gash. Because we'll probably use the Headless Horseman for a good long while, if not just the rest of the main story. I'll fight this mimic, why not? Probably use the Headless Horseman for the rest of the main game, because we are really close. And we just got him, and he's a rank B. If not, maybe I'll fuse him into something if I see something I like, but, I mean, we'll, we'll use him for the foreseeable future. At the very least, I want to, like, transfer over his talent trees. Just something that would benefit from that. More wafers and graham crackers. A flan foyer. No. Back off. Okay. 